Okay, so in order to get the equation then of the line passing through AD, I need to know the coordinates of a point on the line and the gradient. Now, I can get the coordinates of A very easily just by looking at this equation here. I'm going to write it in the form y equals mx plus c, and then I can just see where it crosses the y-axis. And also I'm going to get the gradient of this line, the value of m, and I can use the perpendicular gradient rule to get the gradient of AD. So that's going to be my method. So we'll start then with the equation 5y plus 2x equals 10. I'll just write it in here, okay? We've got 5y plus 2x equals 10. And just going to rearrange this, put it in the form y equals mx plus c. So by subtracting 2x from both sides and dividing by 5. So we would end up with y equals negative 2x divided by 5. So it's going to be minus 2 fifths x. And then we've got the 10 divided by 5, which is going to be plus 2. Okay. Now I can easily see that the line crosses the y-axis when x is 0. And when x is 0, you end up with y equaling 2 the C part of y equals mx plus C. So our coordinates at A must be 0, 2. And for the gradient, let's just put that in. We've got the gradient of AB is going to be the m part of this equation. That would be the minus 2 fifths, a negative gradient as we would expect looking at that line there. And if we apply the perpendicular gradient rule, okay, we've got therefore the gradient now of AD. That perpendicular gradient rule, remember, is the negative reciprocal of this. In other words, just switch the sign, so it's a positive sign now, and invert the fraction. So that gradient will be 5 over 2. So with that, we can now go on and just find the equation of AD. So just put in a little subheading here. The equation of AD is, and I might as well use y equals mx plus c because it's simply a line that goes through the y-axis here at the point A. So using that form, we would have y equals m, the gradient, that's now 5 over 2 and that be multiplied by x, and it's plus c, and c is the y-coordinate at a, so that's 2. Now, to get it in the form they require, okay, I've got to multiply throughout by 2, so therefore we get 2y equals 5x plus 4, and then by subtracting 5x from both sides, we get to show that it's 2y minus 5x, equals 4. Okay, our equation then of that side AD.